mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. This young cat presented for a growth that appeared seemingly out of nowhere and grew to that size in a short period of time. An elliptical incision was made around the growth and then was removed using blunt dissection. Once removed, the growth was cut into just to get a, a look at what it might be. It was actually quite firm. It looked like it might be a peripheral nerve sheath tumor or something along that lines, but turned out to be um, an unusual diagnosis of an extraskeletal osteosarcoma. There are so few cases of this diagnosis that um, long-term prognosis is unclear. Often these uh, sarcomas are found at sites of previous injection where this obviously was not at the point of the shoulder um, and also was not associated with uh, a site of trauma. This pup was anesthetized in preparation for a dental. Being under anesthesia can dry out the cornea, so we pre-lubricate the eyes. As seen here, there's a significant amount of tartar with gum recession. Dental radiographs give us insight into the state of the, the roots and whether or not the teeth need to be extracted. Prior to extraction, a flap is made from the gum so that we are able to close over top of the extraction site once the tooth is, is removed. Care is taken to loosen the uh, roots from their periodontal ligament attachments. It can be a painstaking process. Once all roots are removed in their entirety, the gingival flap is closed over top of the opening.
Once the extractions are complete, the remaining dentition is scaled and polished. And here's the final product.